If you are easily offended, don't like foul language, and take things too seriously, this is not the podcast for you. Parental discretion is advised. In the world, people are represented by two separate, equally unimportant groups. The men represented by KB and the women represented by a different beautiful woman every episode. These are their stories. All right, welcome to this week's edition of KB's Bar Talk. I am your host, KB, joined at Sky by the lovely Jocelyn and Nas. Uh, we're on site at Sky. This is only our second episode where we've been in an actual bar, so shout out to Sky Bistro and Lounge for having us. Uh, great food, great drinks, great vibes. Make sure if you're in the Columbia area to come check it out. Uh, but go ahead. This is this is Jocelyn with us right here. What? Uh, make sure you actually talking to Mike. <laughs> we are used to having mic stands. Today is the uh, the first episode without mic stands. So, they tried us, y'all. They tried us. Uh, I'm used to having a good good mic holder, but apparently we have a really bad mic holder to the left of us. She doesn't know how to hold a mic. Uh, that's so what nice. he said. So but, nice. but that's all right. So, uh, Jocelyn, how was your day? It was phenomenal. I'm a little hungover, so y'all will get a show today. All right. So she's hungover on a fucking Tuesday. <laughs> Got drunk on a Monday night. Rockstar shit. All right, Nas, what about you? You had a good day? I had an amazing day. I've been excited to be on this podcast, so we're about to turn up, y'all. All right. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what, what you got going on? So I'm from Beantown, Rep. Your no, I'm just kidding. I'm from Boston. You're from Boston? Okay. I'm from Boston. I know y'all, I look like a Valley girl. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. No, I'm from Boston. Um, if you've ever been, there are black people. There are yeah. black people in there Boston. Are black people. Everybody thinks only white people are in Boston. It pisses no. me off. No, it's definitely so, black people. Okay. The, so. There's like three Celtics, like 18 Patriots, and Don't and, try and my you. teams. Okay. Don't try my teams. Right. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know the big vibes. Celtics. Yes, I know who Jason Tatum is. That was last. What la- the fuck? Nah, last episode <laughs> with the fuck Mary Kill, the girl had Jason Tatum, and she didn't know who he was. What? Yeah. So. No. There we go. Yeah, I definitely know who that is. Jason Tatum, uh, he plays for the Celtics. Basketball player. He's fine as hell. But you I'm a bottle girl him. here at so. Sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bottle girl here at Sky. So if you're ever in the Columbia area, come holla at me. Columbia, South Carolina. Um, your favorite bottle girl, okay? All right. What about you, Jocelyn? I am from the small town of Columbia, South Carolina. Um, I am a... Uh, I'm a bartender. I, um, let's leave some mystery for the podcast. Leave some mystery. We'll find. We'll yeah, learn not a little too bit. Much. Yeah, we'll what? learn a little bit more about you as the show goes on, for mm-hmm. sure. All right. All right. So, how we like to start the episode? Every girl has to read or tell us the craziest DM or pickup line that they ever received. So, who wants to go first? Who's got? <laughs> I'll start. All right. Okay. So, the craziest pickup line I've ever had was I was in Waikiki on vacation with my girlfriends um, and we was on the strip if you've ever been to Waikiki it's literally like just this long ass strip and everybody's drunk as hell Okay. pretty much like do what you want so anyways I'm like it's probably about mm, I'd say about 12 o'clock in the afternoon so we we're just shopping and everything like that and this dude literally walks up to me and he like kind of grabs my hand and he gets down on one knee so I'm like what the fuck and so everybody just starts looking and like pulling out cameras and he's like will you marry me <laughs> I'm like, what right, the right fuck? on the beach on the beach, literally on Waikiki. That is so he's a romantic like, place. Literally, I don't even know this person, though. Yeah. He's like, will you marry me? He's like, just say yes, just say yes. All these cameras are watching. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. <laughs> so then he, like, comes up close to me. He was like, well, now that you know how the story ends, let's let the story begin. Oh, that. And I was like, okay. <laughs> That's smooth. That was pretty smooth. That's smooth. That was pretty smooth. So like, how's, how's the life? How's the married life? How's the kids? Like, <laughs> yeah, it didn't last. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. didn't get past the beach, yeah, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> Damn. It was so dope. That like, is, I was never, like... Yeah, that's hard to beat. <laughs> yeah. Were there actual cameras there, too, or are you just lying about the cameras? No, there was, like, people. You know, like, when someone's about to propose, everybody's like, oh, oh my gosh. People. It was, like, a thing. Like, tourists were, like, looking, oh, and I'm like, what the fuck is going that's, on? That is dope as hell. Yeah, so... Yeah. I just played along. You might have a, you have a wife, along. Travis. <laughs> like, you, you have proposed. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh... I've only proposed about 42 times, so... Yeah, Kyle, what the fuck? Every... Yeah. What's really good? Every time I leave sex, I'm just like, you want to marry me? And I'm like, no, <laughs> like in the middle. And then after after sex is over, I'm like, I, that wasn't a serious proposal. No. That's just a joke. I've never is it proposed. only for the people that are like good enough? Because then what about the girls that never got proposed to that's watching it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pussy was tra- terrible. <laughs> but uh, 
But if it was fire, I was like, let's just get married. Fuck this shit. Let's go to Vegas now. Mm -hmm. All right, what about you, Jocelyn? Any crazy, crazy pickup lines, DMs? Pickup lines, no. DM, I had someone introduce themselves by offering to blow my ass for $400. <laughs> so how did it feel? Well, <laughs> no, I didn't go through with it. You didn't go through. I was married at the time, but not you were married. Not married. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were, so you were married at the time. So you didn't let them blow on your ass. What is the price to blow on your ass in a DM that you you seriously start considering? Eight hundred minimum. Eight hundred minimum to blow in your for ass. That's one blow. That's like a puff. Not a lick. You better. Not a lick. Not a lick. Nothing. Uh -huh. It's literally a blow. So you better if you if you That's blowing in saying. her ass, you better come with like a full fledged like breathe yeah, deep know. in, so you get a full. You get your money's worth at least. That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's at least. No, yeah. I don't know how paying eight hundred to blow in a girl's ass is nuts. People got some weird fetishes out here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess her I'm asshole. Not asking no <laughs> <laughs> I think her ass is the only recipient. Yeah, that's my rent. Yeah, you know. that's all the, oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every she she receives a lot out of this. Eight hundred. Listen, that's Big J over there. Damn. I don't know if blowing my asshole is a thing. I'm not paying to do that. All right, so next question we go with. That's two. I like those two. That's, that's two good ones for sure today. Um, <laughs> yours was actually romantic and sweet. Hers was just, that's, you know, yeah. I'm a little vulgar. Yeah, very vulgar, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, so next question we like to do is can you cook? So who wants to start on this one? Big J. I can cook. You can cook? Quite the chef, actually. You're quite the chef? Quite the chef. That's surprising to hear. I've never been offered a fucking dish. Yeah. So that's all right. For the new year, that, I'll make you something. But all my right. specialty is um, pot roast. Pot roast, okay. You know, accompanied by macaroni. My and, favorite um, food? Uh, probably collard greens. Okay, you need a collard greens, but I'll take the pot roast and the mac and cheese for sure. Okay. That sounds good. Sounds like a good little dish. What about you, Nas? Yeah, so I can cook. I'm Trinidadian, so the majority of my dishes are Caribbean. So I like to cook oxtails. It's so like my top dish. Okay. Trinidadian? Yes. Oxtails, not bad. Not bad. So we got two girls that get cooked. This is a good episode. Definitely a good episode. We All right, last some. question before we get started with the actual game. Any celebrities you got a, sh a crush on, you want to shoot your shot at, that you always wanted? Shoot my shot? You know, if I If you don't have any celebrity crushes, all right. It's just something about the term shoot my shot. It just makes my like that ass one? itch. Like, little, little, like, you know, like, like I don't want to shoot a shot. But if there was a celebrity that could shoot a shot at me, it would be Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan? Yes, he's so fine. Okay. Michael B. It just Alba's next. They could do together, yeah, if possible. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Iman Shumpert. Iman Shumpert. That's so right. you did not know who Jason Tatum was. Iman but, Shumpert. But you know I don't know Iman. him because of sports. Oh, okay. Oh. So we get a solid role Other player, things. but we don't know the fucking superstar. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Iman played his role now. He was a he very solid his role. role. Iman was a great role player. He his role. Jason Tatum has got a beautiful turnaround jump shot. So Iman Shumpert's the celebrity crush. That's my dream. Is is he still married to Tiana Taylor? He is. I, I want to join the both of them. So you'll have a threesome with Iman and Tiana. Yeah. That's a great relationship. All right. I'm sure it'll happen for you as soon as they see this. <laughs> so shout out to Iman Shumpert. Shout out to shout Tiana out Taylor. Don't forget mine. Michael B. Jordan. Shout out to Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> he doesn't even fucking talk. He, he's Whoa. in every movie. He's <laughs> yeah. Listen, I Just love him. Can't. Are you ready for Creed 14? Are you Are you excited about it? I am, um, actually. I'll probably go see it. I, I, I talk shit, but I go watch all the little Creed's. Yes, I love him. I feel like we've met before. Nothing wrong with Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> all right, so now we get to the actual podcast. This is your first time tuning in to KB's Bar Talk. What we do, it used to be three bags of questions. You used to have the personal questions, the relationship, and the sex questions. We've added a fourth bag, and that is a fuck, Mary kill bag. So you have to take a shot and answer a question out of each bag. Uh, I'm going to let them each pick a question since we got two co-hosts. Uh, we've already got our drinks. If, you, if you're at Sky, we're drinking... We're drinking Crown Peach. Thank God, Crown I finally peach, get to drink peach, some dark Crown liquor. She is on, uh, what? Yeah, uh, she's on every fucking thing. <laughs> but, but starting with the Don Julio. So, 
That's what we're taking shots of today. We're gonna start with a fuck Mary Kill bag. Y'all wanna do females or males? Yes, I'm gonna shoot with the females. You gonna do a bag of females? I'm gonna shoot with the females first. Then you right. get some mix, right? Yeah, well, you can. Okay. You wanna draw males then? Or you wanna? We just doing all females this episode. Yeah, let's just do all females. All right, oh, hell shit. yeah. Okay. I'm not doing it, guys. <laughs> I'm not drawing a fucking guy. Okay. You get, you get draw three of them. Ew. Draw, you draw okay. three. You gotta draw three at a time. <laughs> oh, okay. There's probably some. I mean, R. Kelly's in that bag. You got some <laughs> shit in there. Females? He's in the female bag. Oh, female. Oh, my bad. No, he, he's been acting like a bitch, but no. <laughs> okay. I get to at least answer this one with y'all, so that's good. The mailbag, oh really. I I ain't answering nothing out the mailbag. Brad Pitt, Derek Jeter, or Tom Brady? How can you choose? They're all three so great. <laughs> <laughs> so. Tom Brady's the best, though. All right, so y'all ready? Y'all, oh, I forgot. A little Miss Boston. You know, let's put some respect. For some reason, I thought you were from Atlanta, but. Oh, why? I give Atlanta girl vibes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no fucking way. Right. Respect to Atlanta. Shout out Atlanta. Nah, just, I love y'all, but just, I definitely don't give Atlanta vibes. All right, so let's take take our <laughs> first shot of the episode, and then we'll we'll answer our. Uh, let's go. All right, something I can finally enjoy drinking, sort of. Okay. All right, who's going? You going first? Yeah, I'll go first. So I have Zoe Saldana, Queen Elizabeth, and Madonna. That's an interesting trio. So I'm definitely, ugh, I'm definitely killing Queen Elizabeth. You're killing Queen Elizabeth. Okay. I She's would. all right. She just fucking died anyway. So who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> let, her, oh, let that bitch rest die. in peace. <laughs> let that bitch die again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, but like seriously. Um, and then <laughs> there I'm goes gonna, our British audience. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna marry Zoe Sedona. Okay. Her. She's beautiful. And beautiful. then Madonna, I would fuck because she just acts so nasty. Like, what you really about? Like, yeah. Madonna, what you really saying? You really got that pussy, like you talking about? Like, is it really though? Like, but is it's it really like, what you say? That's like 50 year old pussy now. But I'm sure she's she's learned a thing or two. Yeah, you know they say with age. Nah, comes definitely don't sleep on the cougars. It's the experience, though. The like, Cougars are the nastiest one. Yeah, they'll teach you. They'll do anything. Did you see when she kissed Drake? I did see when she kissed Drake. Was he by that, though, so that might be... Did you see his face, though? Oh, I don't remember. I didn't watch too oh much Oh, my of it, God. Bro. She kissed his face, and it was like... He's yeah. really, like, upset about it. Well, she, like, she's old now. So, I'll look at it more from a... Uh, from a financial standpoint. We're going to assume Queen Elizabeth is still alive. And I'm marrying Queen Elizabeth. Cause that bitch owned like half the world. And she's, like, she, never mind. she's old, but she she's probably racist. You're shit. not getting none of that shit. Queen Elizabeth didn't even get married on purpose. She's stingy. Oh, she didn't get married and on purpose? And frugal as fuck. Yeah, she, she killed she, all her husbands. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> but she owns like a third of the world, for real. She owns like oceans and shit. But what man owns it with her? Exactly. I'm gonna be King Elizabeth or something <laughs> no. with it. All right. No. But well, then you die in Queen Elizabeth. You're old ass <laughs> pussy. Uh, I fuck Madonna and I marry Zoe Saldana. Then. All right, we're gonna go with that. Go with that. All right, let's go with let's go with your three. I got a nice little lineup. So we got Cardi B, Cardi B, SZA, Ashanti. Damn. Oh, you got. Oh, oh you're real. Three. I'm fucking the shit out of Ashanti. You fucking the shit out I of Ashanti. Um. I'm going to have to marry Cardi. Marry Cardi. She just Cardi. seems like a real bitch. Like, she'll hold it down. Yeah, we killing SZA. Sure. We, we killing SZA. SZA. Yeah. She would have had to die. I really don't know exactly what SZA look like. Like, I can't. She's cute. But she's, she's cute. like, you know, she like, girl next door, like, body. Like, she has know? real good, like, she, yeah. I listen to Yeah. She got to go. She got to go. SZA got to go in that category yeah. for sure. I, I yeah, I'm, I'm I'm doing the same. I'm marrying Ashanti, and uh, I'm fucking Cardi. Cardi was a stripper. She out. She gonna give me the stripper vibe. Yeah. And I saw the little pancake titties on her. I ain't really. They, and she don't cook Cardi. or clean. So yeah, Cardi maybe on, we need to Cardi, marry Ashanti. Yeah, yeah we marrying Ashanti. Ashanti definitely could definitely cook or clean. Look at you getting Facetimes during I the pod. <laughs> that's I'm sorry. that's how you know you're popular. <laughs> no, they're trying to see what I'm doing. They trying to see what you're doing. at me on the podcast if you call me. Uh, <laughs> I'm on here. That's your stalker. No. Uh, just, Damn, Kylie put my business. It didn't say playing. stalker though. No, I'm just kidding. It is a stalker. <laughs> That's all right. So, 
Yeah, that's a good that's a good trio though, cause SZA and a lot of these she probably get married, but she getting she dying tonight. Um, she gotta go. Gotta go. That's a tough category. But yeah, Ashanti's perfect wife. Perfect wife. That's good. Good trios. Good trios for sure. All right, we ready for shot two, bag two? Yeah, I'm definitely down. All right. I feel like me and um, Big J need to switch it up. She's yeah, gonna take my clear. To I'm, she's gonna take my brown. I'm gonna take her clear. What you doing? What you doing? Oh, and we got some usher in the background. You know how Listen, I feel. We ain't no pussies, even though we got pussies. Like, All right, not that. these are these are the two realest people I've ever had on the pod because <laughs> they they mix in liquor. You know the vibes. Y'all know what's up. All right, let's go. Y'all gonna switch for her? Yeah. This might be the first live episode that somebody dies on, so that's it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Big J, let him know how Sky get down. This is how we get down at Sky Lounge. That's all right. Let's go. Sky shit. All right, Sky. I love my room service girls, but the Sky girls are the wildest for sure. Yeah. I don't know. It depends on which ones. But yeah, they they wild in here. The Sky girls are. Sky girls you know, definitely. Shout lit. out to Sky Angels. The Sky Angels. It's okay, girl, because I'm going to be all right tonight. <laughs> yeah, just one. If I sing the cover of the whole song, then they can't sue me, right? <laughs> this is my shit. I'm going to be all right tonight. Are you going to do that one? <laughs> huh? You can hear it clear as day? I'm John, one or two? <laughs> can we meet? I don't know. Oh, this, I don't care. We ain't. We never getting a fucking sponsor anyway. It let's be honest. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right, I went first last time. It's see. Big J's turn. Ah, right, yours is like a serious question. What? <laughs> Mine is too. Oh, yours is. Let's do hers first. Yours is like a real serious question. Like to think about. Yeah. yeah. Can money buy love? Can money buy love? I know eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars can buy you a blow in an asshole. Damn, so, it's not going to get you much farther than that. So I, yeah, but eight hundred dollars won't buy love, but eight hundred million. <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> now you're in now love. Now we talking something. No, but seriously, I really don't think money can buy love. Mm -hmm. Money can buy interest. I, love. Money does buy interest. Mm -hmm. The gateway. But if you. That's all you I totally with, think. You know? mm. It's not genuine. Money is money is an accelerator, but it it can uh, if you never like to match with it, it never it never catches on fire. So I don't know if money can. I, I tend to agree with you. Money can't necessarily buy love, but it's so who said money can't buy love, but it's a damn good down payment. So it's like it gets you it gets you in a ballpark to. Uh, towards love but it's not gonna actually buy love for you so i don't think money can buy love but it'll, it'll help you think <laughs> oh, that's what well, that's what we got you here for yeah i definitely think money can buy love so how much does it take to buy your love so okay so for me you know <laughs> okay let me not put me in it i think you can buy love because you know it says money for the love of money is the root of all evil so i think that if you love money it depends on what you love okay. like right like we can't base what somebody loves like, you're talking about a person, but some people love money. So if I sure. have money and this person is here, you're just a factor. I love money, though. So you're worth $800 million. I'm in love. It's not about you. You know? So I think if you're only thinking of it as Cupid shot me with a fucking arrow, no, I'm not going to be in love. But if you're like someone that only cares about money, oh, you're in love. You're in love. Because you have everything you want. So it just depends on the character of the person and what they value. To me. Okay. What if you so, I mean, you know. I'll take I think, a black eye for 900 million. I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's women, you know, there's women out there, you know, getting played for less. You I'll know, take a black eye for 2 million. Yeah, women yeah. getting beat on by niggas that's, you know, excuse me, people that's broke. Nah, it, it's, this podcast loves cussing. So it's oh, cool. okay. You know, there's, <laughs> there's people out there getting beat on and cheated on and all the above for less, you know? So yeah, yeah. That's just my they opinion. They broke as hell living in your house and still beating on exactly, you. Exactly. fucking I, stupid are you? Exactly. But, so, it depends on what you love. Yeah. Speaking of Ashanti, 
Not me. You know. Oh, no, this is Mariah. Never mind. <laughs> Who is this? This is Monica. Oh, Monica. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm not, Take I, another shot because you but, disrespected. I disrespected no, the whole black take race. A shot. <laughs> take a shot because right. you disrespected. Take a half a shot. One. Take a half oh, a shot. Oh, this my shit too. Feel. Yes, like what? All right, bring some more fucking shots, bartenders. Like, we need that. Damn, like, I fucked it all up. And did. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we accept you, Kyle, in the black community. You need to know your fucking people. Uh, I'm truly white. My white came out. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. That's a good question. Here's a serious question. Let's go. Let's go with a little more. It's fun and serious uh, at the same time. Okay. So it says, if you have 24 hours to live, what are you doing for 24 hours for the last 24 hours? Hey, tell her. Tell her. Um, get us a couple more. Like two more shots. Three more shots. So if I only had 24 hours to live, you know, being that I'm a mother, I would spend all that time with my son. And I would try to give him everything, every lesson I could possibly shove into his mind in 24 hours. Excluding my son, I'm going to live wild as fuck. I'm gonna do everything that you would get arrested for in 24 hours. 24 hours? Yeah. 24 hours to live, going to Vegas, I'm clearing out my fucking account, and I'm, I'm like fucking every stripper possible in Vegas and doing cocaine off of them. Um, I'm, I'm doing. I might blow in the stripper's ass in Vegas. I might blow in Jocelyn's ass in Vegas. I don't really, for eight hundred dollars. I don't like in Vegas. It don't. It don't really matter to me. So my last twenty. Oh, it's my last 24 hours. I don't give a fuck. She said she's going up on her Damn, price, Kyle. Look, oh, so the price for me is different than a regular person. That's crazy. But um. But no, nah, I'm going. I'm going crazy. My last 24. I don't have kids, so fuck them. Uh, I'll make some and abort them. Uh, I won't have to worry about abortion. I don't have to be a father anymore, uh, cause I'm gonna be dying. So it's like, it's my last 24 hours. I'll, I'll nut and everything. They won't even. I'll leave a so legacy. You're leaving legacies. Yeah, yeah. I'm leaving about 10 legacies in Vegas. Um, yeah, 24 hours. I mean, I might take a little nap in there for two. It's a long day ahead. But other than that, 24 hours. I'm going wild. I'm going wild. What about you, Jocelyn? What you doing? Realistically speaking, I'm spending the whole 24 hours. I'm deleting all my messages, pictures, <laughs> everything. You don't want nobody to see shit. No trace. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want people to even know you existed. Yeah, no, fuck that. I'm wiping myself out. That is, that's some whole that stuff. That means she got some real <laughs> shit. You got some real shit buried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two shots of each. <laughs> Crown Peach and two shots of Don Julio. All right, so you deleting everything. Definitely. So you want people to actually think you were a good, wholesome person. Of course. Despite the way you lived your life for the last 25 of years or so. I don't need nobody spitting on me at my funeral. Spitting? Spitting. Spitting on you. I'll Girl, I would fight. Nah, I wouldn't. I'd be in the eighth row. I, the eighth row. I'll shed a tear If somebody spit on my friend? No. Yeah, that's disrespectful. I'm a poor up a shot. That's what the fuck. At least wait till they get. I got a lot of enemies. You got a lot of enemies. I can see why. I got a lot of enemies. I know why. You know my friend. I I mean, I think we're kind of enemies, so. You think so? I think we're frenemies. Frenemies. Frenemies? I like that better. Really? Yeah. Damn, I thought it was kind of (laughs) cool. I was just talking shit. Look how quick it changed. It's a shot. I'm dying. Can they hear the music? Cause he, they need to know how disrespectful he is. That's like, the problem. This has to be aired. How disrespectful. But well, the is. problem is now I can't really like monetize on YouTube. Who is this? Tamia. If you no. I'm so into you. This is my shit. This, this nobody this. asked you. Nah, he knows I know. No, this. he he needs to answer. No, he has to he, redeem he know, his he know. No, he has to get. No, he has to get it back. He has to name the. I'm right not gonna fight this one up. The next I'm one. so into you now. <laughs> you now. This, this is my shit. This is like one of my ten favorite songs of all time. So I ain't this is that shit you be saying. That's how you be getting them girls yeah. that you propose to. I don't. I don't have no hoes. I literally. I, I have no See, girls in my life. He hates these bitches. See how you did? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said no, that's no, how you get these girls. Story. He said hoes. I have no. Why I, you gotta be like that? You just said how I get hoes. I said girls. Oh. You, <laughs> Shit, I fucked up. <laughs> Y'all I, see who's getting fucked up, right? I okay. have no. Cause we gonna oh hold my. it down. Period. Okay. She was throwing up behind a bar an hour you know, ago. Wow. Like, wow. We gonna talk about that. Wow. <laughs> so, 
No, I don't have any girls, no hoes. I'm a single, boring He's old man. He's a bachelor. Man. Single, boring old man looking for an angel from Sky. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take no Sky girls. All right, so that's cool. I think we I think we answered that one good enough. You're deleting everything. I'm going crazy doing stupid shit. You're being a mature mom for the first 12 hours and the last 12 doing some stupid shit. Yeah. All right. All right, sure. Now we go to the relationship bag. So for the people watching at home, you just had a random man hop into your camera. Shout out to D-Rock. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Daryl Santana, right? That's right, correct. You want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Daryl Santana, a.k.a. D-Rock. I enjoy swimming, fishing, horseback riding, long walks in the park. Long walks in the park? Correct. What do you, What do you do here at Sky? I heard you sweep parking lots, right? Yes, I am the parking lot attendant here at Sky Bistro. 1120 Washington Street. Please come out and support us and um, stop uh, leaving trash in the parking lot. Yeah, make his job a lot easier. A lot easier if you'd stop littering. Litter trashes everyone. Don't do it. So uh, shout out to D-Rock for stopping in. The uh, Columbia famous, infamous D-Rock Santana. So we're glad to have a special guest in the building. All right, so we got two questions drawn. You want to draw your qu a question too, or you? Sure, yeah, I most definitely do. The relationships, you should know a lot about these. Oh my gosh! Yikes! I feel like it's getting sticky. I hope I still have my relationship. You feel like it's getting sticky. It's getting sticky. It's getting real sticky. It definitely gets sticky, but that's cool. It's getting sticky. All right, so who wants to go first? I, I think the guest that just arrived should go first. Yikes. All right, D. Rod, read your question, my boy. If your partner goes to jail for over two years, will you stay with them? <laughs> oh, that, yeah. what a fitting fucking question, right? right. <laughs> wow. What, oh. <laughs> the, I hate this situation. Okay? The irony of this draw. Um, most definitely, I would stay with my partner. I'm ride or die. I will, you know, hold her down, you know, through a whole bid until she gets home. I'll probably give her like a month to readjust, just in case she want to fuck somebody else Ooh. too. And then you know we can get back to being a couple. Oh, okay. That's. That sounds like a lie, but good answer. Good answer. That's some real shit. Some real so, shit. Uh, some real shit, Kyle. For two, over two years? I'm going to be fake then. Yeah. Two years? Yeah, two years, man. I'm cheating a whole two years, though, right? I, of course. Yeah, yeah. We cheat. We cheating for the two years. But when she get back, that's my baby. It ain't really cheating, though, because, you know, once Because I can't fuck her. It's yeah. a, I'll come, I'll come for the conjugals. She's frozen. Con I'll come for the conjugals. <laughs> real talk, <laughs> Real talk. Somebody in the prison. Nas in the prison's fucking her, but... <laughs> <laughs> but but I mean, uh, as far as like, yeah. I, but that's uh, that's still my girl. I send you, I send you money. Make sure everything paid for. That's right. And it also depends what you're in jail for. If you're in jail for stabbing me, of course we're staying together. Like you've <laughs> cut, you, you've cut into me. But like if I you're in, ja in jail for some sick shit, like nah, you you might be cut off. But it depends. It depends on what you're in jail for. But I might I might stay with you. What about you? Are y'all loyal? Are y'all y'all dropping them? Yeah, so, like, you know, I just have a little twist to that question. So, like, would he give me a pass to, like, do my thing, but I still hold him down? Or is it, like, dead ass, like, hold you down, I'm not doing nothing? Nah, so you got to hold him down do nothing. Never give his pussy away. Nah, that's his, that's his girl. Women get emotions. Yeah, yeah. Women get emotions. Yeah, as soon as, uh, as soon as somebody else pounds that shit, you in love with them and, and fuck right. old buddy in so, jail. You going to stop the visits, stop the letters. No, I'm going to hold him down because I only fuck with real niggas. It so. depends on, oh, okay. He going to hold me down. Why he How, gone and now? I'm going to be straight. What if it's 25 years? <laughs> you going to be celibate for 25 straight? Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. We're having conversations like, babe. You know, let's let's work this out. Yeah, you still my baby, but I gotta, I gotta, I got some. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come to, I'm gonna come visit him and pick a guard. Like you got her, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool on that. Yeah, you got that. <laughs> Anything over two years is is a dub anyway. It's a yeah, it's a yeah. Dub. Two years hard to stay celibate. Two yeah. years really is a, like equivalent to like a nine month sentence in prison. Yeah. So you know, we ain't talking about getting early release. No. We talking about <laughs> legit two years. He has experience. Years. D Rock you, has experience. Yeah, that's, that's He's good coming time. here. With I know what he knows. I'm just saying. I'm saying we talking about legit two years you got to stay celibate Oof. yeah like yeah i mean yeah, you can finger yourself y'all you, got roses and shit we ain't <laughs> roses we just don't act like y'all don't have pocket pussies like stop it <laughs> yeah they i'm looking for my shit for y'all hey whoever stole my pocket oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need one definitely. Uh, if y'all want to sponsor this episode right <laughs> <laughs> please reach out to me because i'll take a free pocket pussy yeah 
<laughs> I'll never talk to a bitch again if I get a good pocket pussy. Right. We know you wouldn't, Kyle. A, we know a Bella you Danger. A Bella <laughs> Danger. <laughs> Bella Danger. Y'all naming yeah. that motherfucker and everything. <laughs> that's my pocket. Uh, that's my <laughs> favorite porn star. <laughs> Bella Danger. <laughs> oh, oh you got a favorite? <laughs> I love her. I, I used to. Who? Top 50. <laughs> <laughs> said he got a top 50 point. <laughs> that was his New Year's list was just listing off 50 porn stars. I tried to make goals. <laughs> All right, what you what you got, Jocelyn? Who you you staying down with him for no, two years? That's cute, but as soon as them sirens come on. You out. So no loyalty from I Jocelyn at all. <laughs> Jeez. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Even if you doing overnight, bitch. <laughs> 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 yeah, the way that sounds. Yeah. Like, oh no. I, you oh, you got both. you got arrested for simple possession. You gone. Like <laughs> you shouldn't have did what little you did. DUI, like <laughs> driving on a suspension. Right. Oh, yeah. out of here. Yo. You, know, you, cr- you criminal ass motherfucker. Like. I don't know. <laughs> It's it's about forty motherfuckers else ready to <laughs> line up. Yeah, yeah, ready so to blowing that ass. And so I have like a For bonus question. Plus. For eight hundred. I have a bonus question. So All right, have, bonus question. We so love ha- bonus questions. So have y'all ever like held it down? Like, have you ever took a charge for somebody? Like your significant other? Have you ever been in a situation where you would like take the charge for them? I never had that. I had an ex. Uh, I had an ex tell me, like she texted me and said, "I'm gonna call the police and tell them you got guns and drugs in your house." <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and that is not taking a charge, Kyle. Like no, that's getting no, charged. it's it's completely opposite. <laughs> what, about what about you? you have you Jay? have you ever been in a situation where somebody you was fucking with was going to jail and you and got you? Let's be real. I'll be honest. She just I don't. Said I don't. She's gone when the sirens go off, so we know. You snitching? You gonna? I'm not hope, snitching, uh, but you gone. You don't seem so. you don't seem real ride or die, Josh. <laughs> not, not ride or die. Are you the opposite of ride or die? <laughs> Most definitely. She, she dying and then riding. <laughs> so I was. She the six nine of the of the women at, at Sky. <laughs> so, she, she little Takashi, Takashi no, and Sky. No, don't be my friend. Yeah. So, so I was in she a situation like that. She tatted and pierced like everywhere. Tatted and pierced. Everywhere. I was in a situation like that. Okay. And I definitely rode. So here I was. There I was. Two o'clock in the morning, Colorado Springs. I was married. So he had to an old buddy from Hawaii or somebody else. You know what? Don't be in my business. Kyle. My bad. Nobody said that. So I was married. You know, shout out to who you know who you are. No, I'm just kidding. But no. So boom. I was like two o'clock in the morning. He already had a DUI. So he called me. He got in an accident. Yeah. And literally, he got in an accident with a person that had a DUI. Like literally, the person that hit him was drunk driving. But he called me because he knew like he, literally this is the second DUI. And he was gonna get arrested and go to jail. So he calls me. He's like, yo. I'm on the side of the road. We just got an accident. This dude is in a ditch. The police haven't come yet, but I need you to pull up. And I'm like, what am I going to pull up and do? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what am I doing exactly? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> My son's in the bed asleep. He's like two years old. Oh, he's like, yo, like, mother. I need you. Right. So he's like, no, I need you to pull up with our son and just say, you know, damn, I just said who it was. Anyway, he's like, yo, I need you to pull up with our son and you act like he was driving. Because if they know I was driving, it's a dub. Like, I'm going to jail. Yeah. I was like, all right, cool. So I pull up. I bullshit you not. They fucking believe me. Like, I literally pulled up and was like, yo, I was driving. And the office is like, why did you leave? I was like, I had to go get my son. The sitter was going to say that she said she had to go to work and she was going to leave him. So I had to hurry up and leave the scene. I'm sorry. Like, please don't charge me. But they ended up charging the other dude with the DUI. But I was ready. Like, you I was were ready. ready. You was I was going ready. To jail for him. At this point, like, it was going down. Oh, you real. I see, you I see, really? I see why they proposed to you. I see why. Uh, before they even meet you, they proposed to you. And we sued his ass. Like, we sued him. We got like 30 vans off him. Oh, hey, yeah. Kyle, um, <laughs> before we go any further, I'd like to uh, thank you for this uh, podcast. Now I know what my staff is. They're a little crazy. Yeah. They're yeah. <laughs> They don't like. Uh, <laughs> Jocelyn, did you say something about $800? So, <laughs> wow. What's up with that? Kyle, how does that work? It was really 400 It was really it was 400 I'm doubling it. Oh, hey. shit. So you, you get ba- bagger? If, if, uh, if you have a Not good all that, no. If you have a good night at Sky, you can blow in her ass for 800 If you have a bad night at Sky, you can DM her about blowing her ass for 4 That is but not but it, Or just for me to open the DM. Just for just to open my it. My staff, my staff, they're they're go get us now. Yeah, yeah. That's not what she said. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they'll make that money, <laughs> one way or the other. I plead the fifth. <laughs> they'll, they'll make, yeah, Nas was in our section on my birthday showing titties for extra tips. And yo, that's a complete lie. Yo, I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> but you ever think Kyle is telling you the truth? Yeah, you're gonna get slapped. All I do is lie to y'all. <laughs> honestly, I, I, I'm just a boring old man. <laughs> Nothing goes on in my life. No, because someone's gonna listen and come in here like show me the titties. Like, <laughs> so I got an extra band for you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got a question left, right? We got one more relationship question. You got actually the first one I ever made. So, is it wrong to pursue? 
pursue someone in a relationship if you don't know the person they date, but know they date someone? Holy yes. Shit. 100%. So you know you know they in a relationship, but you ain't cool with the person they date. So it ain't oh, like... you're not cool with them. Yeah, you ain't cool with them. So say uh, old buddy over there... Well, no, no, I need to... Yeah, say old buddy over there in a relationship, but you don't know who he dating, but you know he in a relationship. Is it wrong for you to go talk to him and try and, try and get with him? Or for my instance, that bartender, I know she in a relationship, but... I, I want to fuck her. Is it wrong for me to go talk to her? If I don't know the person, you don't know the person they dating. You got no idea who no. they dating. You just know. But if I don't fuck with the though. bitch, no. If I don't know the person, yes, it's wrong. If I know the bitch and don't fuck with the bitch, then no. Oh, so if you don't wrong. fuck with a girl, fuck, fuck it. F- fuck that bitch. We I'm, outside, suck, I'm yeah. sucking her man dick every no, we time. Outside. <laughs> okay. And he's blowing in my ass for eight hundred dollars. And he blow- <laughs> Not even for eight hundred. He's doing it free. <laughs> so. So, no, that's not true. All right. So, what about you? Do you think it's wrong? You, you know, you know. All right. You know, you know my friend, my man over there. You know, Chavis in a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Chavis, he, but you, you looking at him like, damn, that's, I, I want some Chavis. Is it wrong for you to pursue him? Okay. So when we say relationship, are we meaning marriage or just like girlfriend boyfriend they, relationship? They, they've been together for a while. They. I know this already. You, you found out. You found. However, you found out. You found out. You know, like, I feel like he's talked about it, whatever, whatever the situation. Y'all work together, and you, and he's talked about, yeah, my girl at home, whatever. You know, I feel like sheep die, wolves eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't get him. You get what I'm saying? If it wasn't like that, so it, it is, is what it is. You feel me? Like, I love these two. Let's Man. get dirty. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, cause yeah, nobody's gonna respect me. Like, let's be honest. If you can get my dude, he's not my dude. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? There's this bitches out here that's gonna come a dime a dozen. So, to me, if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I wouldn't personally do it, but I'm just saying if it was to happen to me, it it's like, it. yo, you did it. Nah, yeah. because you know what I'm saying? I play to win. Yeah. I don't even get involved where I can't win, but oh, I'm just being, I'm a realistic have person. Have you ever so lost? I don't take many losses, Kyle. <laughs> I, I see that. I see why. We're going in there. Okay. Nah, I agree with you. I'm, I'm on y'all page. Well said. I'm on y'all page. Fuck them. If I don't know them, fuck them. <laughs> if I know them and we cool, They're gonna try me, I so. respect. But it, if I don't know them, fuck them. That ain't, if it's his bitch and I could get him. Get her. She ain't your bitch. Yeah, she ain't. She ain't your bitch. She ain't her. Um, She's real. I grew up in the era of uh, watching uh, this movie called The Mac. The Mac. And the most infamous line in there is, you know the rules of the game, your bitch chose me. Yeah. So, you know, for that reason, you know, if your love is real, you got to handle competition. Yeah. So, you know, for for me, I, I don't give a fuck if you talking to the president. Yeah. If I got if I if I dance with I got a chance with her. That, you know, that's Ooh, my whole I like that line. Yeah, that's it's a good true. line. It's true. I it's like true. that. <laughs> and I'm just speaking from personal D-Rod experience. D-Rod trying to get some pussy off this episode. <laughs> no, but personal experience. No. I dead no. ass <laughs> I dead ass held down this girl. Like, you know what I mean? Her husband was trying to talk to me. Yeah. And you know, not to put it out there, but I like I was like, nah, you know, I know you do, you know, woo woo woo. Like I excuse me. I told him I know your wife, you know, whatever. This same bitch fucked my nigga though. She didn't give a fuck. So I'm like, damn, that taught me a valuable lesson. Like, you respect people that don't respect you. Yeah. They're going to take the opportunity when they you can. They don't respect so that shit. They gonna, you got to depend on that person to hold it down, period. I'm, I'm on y'all page. A lot of girls be like, nah, it's, it's disrespectful. Fuck that shit. It's a game. It is. It's always mm-hmm. a game. Sheep die, wolves eat. Yeah, then, you, then you're finding out eventually she ain't really the one for you. She I ain't had to learn that the hard way. Yeah. You know, my uh, ex-girlfriend, um, she just got a... Uh, Engaged to a dude that used to be at my house every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's no loyalty in this game. It ain't. It ain't no loyalty. It come with the game though. You, you know, you can't be mad at. If it. you play the game, you gonna, I mean, you're gonna take some wins. You're gonna take some losses. Mm-hmm. You gotta learn. Right yeah, on, for sure. All right, we ready for our last bag? Everybody's favorite bag, the sex bag. Oh gosh. This is not my favorite bag. I'm taking two it's shots. It's not your favorite. You've been I'm talking about sex not. on personal questions. I'm Nancy. taking two shots. I already know. You want to draw your question? Okay. You drawing one for this one? Yeah, yeah. I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm be here for one. This last round right here for me. Last round? I got to go sweep the parking lot after this. You got to go sweep. You missed a fuck, man, kill. You could fuck Ashanti, Scissor, and Cardi. Damn. Fuck, man, kill. Ashanti, Scissor, and Cardi. I got to fuck. I got to marry Ashanti. Marion and Shanti, we on the same page. I got to kill Cardi. Killing Cardi? <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. You fucking scissor. Oh. See, I gotta, I gotta look up what scissor really look like. She's pretty. I'm gonna show you. Is her lips fire. The lips will do it for me too. I, the first thing I look at every girl is lips, titties, and ass. Like, can you suck dick? <laughs> what? You got nice titties or that you got That does nice not mean that just because she has lips. I don't care. I, I grew up with the air of saying I have DSL, so I feel some type of way. DSL. What does that I mean? Don't ha- you know dick what the fuck it means. <laughs> My bad, my bad, my bad. You do have some dick sucking lips. Shut the them, fuck up, Kai. You, boss, have, them you boss. have no coochie eating lips. So what the fuck? I don't. My tongue is small as shit. She okay. do have some dick sucking lips, ain't it? I don't want to fuck her there, though. I'll fuck her on the last picture. That hair a little oh too wide. She looked like she just got fucked in this picture. I'm done. <laughs> y'all, forgive this. Yo this, yo, this sex bag is brutal. Yeah, the sex bag a little wide. I All right, I we ready. I want to repool. That's why. That was in a sex bag? Yeah, it shouldn't be. Oh yeah, that's in the wrong bag. That's the wrong bag. You get a repo. That don't count. I get a that was supposed to be in a relationship bag. We'll put that for later. Okay. User error. Okay. We good? Mm-hmm. We ready for? We ready for our shot? <laughs> We know who has no sex you got your, on this. You got a sex question? All right, we on good? Podcast. You said what? They heard me. They heard me. Let's go. Dennis. Who think they got the lightest of the questions? Who got an easy question? You got an easy question? You've been drawing the easy ones all night. <laughs> Are you loud or quiet during sex? This is why we keep mic holders. Do you like your partner to be loud or quiet? So what about you, Jocelyn? <laughs> Are you loud or quiet during sex? Uh, I would say I'm pretty loud. You're pretty loud? Screamer? Mm. If it's right, right situation. Mm. Mm. I, uh, you said back there, you like back shot? You like giving them back shot? I I I fuck him from the back. That's how I like to fuck him. Oh, yeah, it's from yeah. the back. Um, I don't want him to see my dick. Like I, I want him to look the other direction. There's nothing like, to look at, Kyle. That's huh? what you're saying right now. If I huh? say that, you can't say that. Why can't I say that? Because it means there's nothing to look at. I don't yeah. want to see my dick. But I heard that right. <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> so, so what? You right. You right. Yeah, you right. You right. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna take a pill before we go. <laughs> <laughs> my boo. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting that. I told him. I told him. I'm thinking about getting that little dick enhancement surgery. I'm walking in this bitch with like a foot long dick in his mouth. <laughs> Pretty soon, that shit. You gonna see it through the pants every time I walk in the oh club. Dirt diggler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm pop a pill and get the surgery and walk in the club every time. He's Kyle just gonna Diggy. Be like, yeah. <laughs> Kyle Diggy in the but pill. But nah, like I'm not. I'm not. Like I'll talk to you during it, but I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not gonna fucking moan or make a whole lot of noises and shit. That's that's not my really. That's awkward. Awkward as hell if a guy really. No, it's awkward if you don't make. Noise. Right, thank you, Mike. Oh, I'm, you're not my girl. Engaging, I was gonna be like, I'm more like a serial doing? killer exactly. back here, just like <laughs> you, Yo. you thinking I'm. I'm a Jeffrey Dahmer, your pussy. Oh, <laughs> like, no, you know here what? Just like, my bad. You stupid. <laughs> Cut <Wow>. it. <laughs> Nah, leave that in there. You I don't got give so a much fuck. shit gotta come out of this fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be contradictory per episode too. Yeah, it's like don't take him serious, please. Don't. All right, but no not. Protest. I'll talk to you, but it's not gonna be. I'm not gonna be loud with it. Definitely not loud. But I do. I do want to know if if you my partner. I want to hear something because if you just there silent too, I'm like, damn. That's I am. so fucking contradicting. But you're a woman. So you're how supposed the fuck to, you I'm supposed to be her. pleasing you. I, you know, you pleasing me. Like we're here. How, that, how she know though if you're not saying shit? Nah, How does she know if you're, you're not here. saying shit? Like, I'm happy. How? Because I'm a nut. <laughs> Nobody asked you. In about 30 <laughs> seconds, I'm going to come. And you're going to know, all right, I did my job. Not 30 <laughs> seconds. All right, Joe, so lay the fuck off. Chill out. <laughs> Watch your fucking mouth over there. I don't really need you doing too much. All right, maybe 45. So, <laughs> so <laughs> no. but, but now nah, I, I definitely want to hear you say do something over there. We just listen to sex sounds the whole time. It's a little weird. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I think that stems from a place of insecurity, Kyle. We'll talk about it later in counseling. Thank you. Please, please help me <laughs> out. <'cause laughs> but, I, no, I need I a mentor. I definitely think um, for me, I'm not a faker. So like, if you're not doing what you got to do, I'm, I'm gonna let you know by not saying shit. I mean, 
But if you don't know what you got to do, I'm going to make that real life noise. You know what I'm saying? I like to do what any woman likes to do. Like, I like to, you know what I'm saying, express my pleasure through my vocals. Hell, I'll sing. You know what You'll what sing? I'm I'll what, sing. What's your song of choice? La, 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 la. Oh, you're doing la, 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 la. <laughs> 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 oh. la, 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 la. Okay, you get it. But, um, you nah, know. Sing your song and I like a little, I, wanna, I, wanna, I ain't going to lie. Like, you know what I'm saying? For my dude, I don't really like too much. Moaning it. I like that shit talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, say some shit I want to uh, hear. I'm like, killing your shit, bitch. <laughs> 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 like some shit like that. Yeah. Like some shit like that. Like who the fuck that. am I? Say my motherfucking name. That's why right. I'm like K Y. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you spelling it? Yeah, all that. Spell that's, it for me real quick. Spell that's everything for the like, episode. Yeah, but I feel like that quiet shit. That's corny. Like, what you thinking about? Because I feel like when dudes be quiet, you dead ass thinking about like the NBA game that you lost. Like, <laughs> no, I turn Sports Center up just so like, I don't you, come. You quick. lost a bet. So you think about other shit. Matter of fact, you think about that bitch. Period. I can't I'm hold done. you. I ain't never. If I'm quiet, then it's trash. I'm passionate. I'm a Virgo, man. So it's like for me, like sex is like it's emotion, it's energy. So like I'm gonna be moaning. I'm gonna talk. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be kissing, touching, like everything coming out of me. Oh, like yeah. When I bust, yeah. like it come from my big toe <laughs> up to my brain. Shoot. <laughs> like like oh. that's. Like how emotional I be with that shit. So it's like, Good Lord. I be like, oh. <laughs> Kyle's like, I want to experience that. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> I want to find life. that type of Once life. In my life. life. <laughs> Good Lord. It's, it's, I, don't know. I don't even know I have a big toe. <laughs> 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 I'm, just, I'm just over there turning up Sports Center so I can hear it louder <laughs> so I don't come. Like, I'm just like, ah, give me some LeBron yeah. highlights real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh. trying to focus on anything else so I don't come. But no, when, when, when you get ready to um, bus, what you do is, for all the guys at home, that's what you got to do. When it's great, you come up out of that thing, you pinch your head, gives you another three to five minutes, okay? <laughs> and then slap that bitch on the yeah, ass be like, you did That's lessons job, from bitch. D-Rock. <laughs> Go right back in that thing. You're great. Right back in there. <laughs> Look at that pro tip. I all got right. a tip for men. You want her to stay wet, eat that pussy after you done fucking. After you bust, keep eating pussy. <laughs> That's Keep nasty. eating the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like eat my own nut. Nah. No, <laughs> not eat your own nut. Who said you nut in her? I'm saying like you did. My bad. I don't use if you condoms. didn't, but if you did, <laughs> but if you did and you nasty, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Use a damn lie. Sh- shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, <laughs> you know different. you about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Nah, so. that ass. Why are men so confused with their nut? But y'all want to see our nut. I'm just saying. All right, you got that. You got that. Y'all know a little different than ours. The fuck? What do you mean? It's a lot more protein than our know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a nutritious. Yeah. <laughs> my, my shit make your hair grow. Yeah, my, my shit is steak and grilled cheese. Like, <laughs> well, my shit, your nut is pineapples right. and celery. <laughs> like, mine is mine is meat. <laughs> Pause. Well, All right. Yeah. All right. So uh, I feel like we we did that question justice. What we what we got? Who want to go next? What's the question? Oh, uh, they're randomly drawn, so you drew it. I'm sorry. So mine says, what age is too old to have sex in the car? Absolutely no age at all. I'm fucking when I'm 70 in the car. I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> oh, there's I got no a, age. I got a story about this one. Yeah, there's no age. So uh, my original, when I made the question, was after about 20, 24, 25, when you're out on your own, it's a little... Right. You, you got a house. Take that bitch to the crib. But mm-hmm. then I might have left here one night. <laughs> <laughs> nice guy. Yeah, I might have left here a couple, about <laughs> ten nights ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if, if we're being exact. And I might have I might have changed my mind on the question is all I'm saying. Uh, there's no age limit. There's no, I was like, well, I don't feel like driving home. I'm drunk. And we're right here. So, I mean, it's uncomfortable. It's definitely it's definitely not. I'm, a, I'm tall. I'm 6'1". I got a little size to me. D-Rock, you even a little taller than me. So I was about to say it's that. Not, it's not the easiest thing in the world for us. Whack, it's not a whole lot of not a whole lot of room. I mean, but it depends. I'm it depends. too tall for that. Yeah. It just depends. Like, there's literally, like, nothing y'all have to do. She literally can sit on top of you. Oh, that's 100% ride. what was happening. There what was, that, like, there was no effort happening? on my part at all. <laughs> 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 but it's, uh, yeah, I mean. As far as like regular sex in the car, after after about 22, once you've experienced like high school, college, you got your own place, whatever, it's time to stop. But a, but a random fuck in the car, once a year or twice a year, go for it. I'm going more for 
own the car. Right. Oh, like, you doing right. that on the trunk? We were like on Assembly the Street. Fuck you. <laughs> but mm-hmm. It's the Change car, the though. Like, it's the car, though. It's the car, though. It's the car, though. It's the car, though. Yeah, but not in the car. I'm way too tall for that, man. Like, I can yeah. barely fit in most cars comfortably, letting the seat back, and then, like, yeah. you know, riding on me. Like, I just ain't, ain't enough room. I'm big. Oh, yeah. Like, hey, yo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, SUV maybe, maybe yeah. Maybe. Van. <laughs> car, I gotta push seat, so. Right. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't used to. Right, I'm, yeah, too, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm still sound, not used to the car. Real you know, lazy. I'm, oh, I'm lazy as fuck. You know, I've always had a SUV though. Until this, I bought, a, I finally bought a car. I ain't really, I ain't really used to it. I'm used to having a little more spacious. Like she could bend over in the back seat, and I could actually do some work in that motherfucker. <laughs> this See, that's one, the I'm, problem. Y'all trying to have bed sex in the car. It's called car sex. There's a name for it for a reason. You don't do all the positions you would do on the bed. Like you do, you know, like the mini version of you what you do. You pretty much do missionary, reverse, bed. cowgirl, and you suck my dick in the car, pretty much. And you <laughs> eat pussy in the car. Let's not well, forget that. Like, of we ain't got to figure why can't we all you? Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oral. Yeah, oral in the car is fine. Yeah, nah, but I'm just saying, the though, like, there's it, many honestly. places. You just lay your ass across that bed, put your feet across that good old middle console, <laughs> lay them long ass legs right there, and she go to work over that back seat. She go to work over that back seat. It's that simple. What it is is y'all need to stop fucking. With them. Y'all need to stop fucking with them super thick ass bitches. That's all it is. Get you one of them thin men. Th- them, them, uh, them thin girls went out once COVID hit. It's, uh, it's bad. Yeah, right. Thin it's girls are always in. What thick girls mean? been the shit ever since you COVID. A lot no, with his no. no. Oh, okay. Now Jocelyn want to talk her much. shit. You, you know you. Sc- no, I hey, love my thick girls. But before I used to COVID, be a thin you were the girl, shit. and now I'm in between. Still girl. The shit. You still the shit. You, you the baddest. You the big Joss, right? Big J. Big J. Give it to her. Not too small. <laughs> I'm, I'm shouting out to the to the slim things. I'm not. Nah, nah. Thing. You know, I always like the slim ones. That's all I can handle. I ain't. I ain't, go, I ain't go. Well, I heard skinny girls got the uh, the deep pussy. Yeah. That's what I heard. Like oh. it's super that's, that's, deep. Uh, the know. thinner, the thinner, the further you can get in her. Oh, the thinner, <laughs> the further you can get. The thicker yeah. come quicker. I knew you had. You know I what? knew you knew. Right, well, like Kyle, know all this <laughs> shit did not be having good sex. I what the fuck? I don't know what I'm talking about. I just, <laughs> yeah, yeah I right. Kyle give you 45 seconds of bust down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that 45 seconds is going to be fire. We're going to hit four positions. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Reverse. Put your head up here. Put my legs here. Mm-mm. All right. So so what you got, Jocelyn? I don't even know a fucking question she anymore. She hers already, I think. No, yeah, no. She got an answer, though, right? I thought she had an answer. Okay, she yeah. What was the question? Car sex. Car sex. How you feel about car sex? You still, you still in the car sex? No age limit on it? Yeah, 85, you're just going to be in there. If you can't handle car sex, right. you're too old. Too old. You're small. Nah, she not small. Stand up. You're about 6'2", right? What? 5'8". Five eight. I'm 5'8". Five 5'8". Eight. Five eight. Oh, she's that. model type. I really said that shit. Five Shout eight. out models. She's model five type. Eight. Yeah, yeah. Perfect model. Perfect model. She just chose other routes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... So D Rock's actually answering a real question. So <laughs> brief intermission. Finally turn the music down so I don't have to sing through it. I, I got you. Do, 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 sing your sex song. Okay. <laughs> it's the remix to ignition. <laughs> Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Daddy rolling my body. Got every boy in here wishing he sucking on some nip scent. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, we, I'm not bad. Let me stop. This is a nasty yeah, Nas R. Like, Kelly remix. Right, you gotta pay for the rest. I gotta pay for the rest. You gotta like, pay for period. the rest. Right, right. Subscribe. Period. All right, D Rock back in the building. Is the dick too small if the pussy queefs a lot? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 my boy laughed. <laughs> Excellent question, Kyle. <laughs> Thank you. I, I made it myself. <laughs> it, um, was, it was happening way too often, so I, I, I had to know if it was a me problem or if it was a her problem. I just I needed I need, I need other people to tell me. Um, I don't think I don't think so. Um, you know, growing up, I really didn't know much about queefing, yeah. so I kind of enjoyed it. Like that yeah. was my thing, and then you know. I got with this uh, older woman one time, and she said, stop putting all that air in my pussy. I said, what you mean? Because I wanted to take my, I was watching porn. Yeah. You know, at first, when you, well, when I first started having sex, I wanted to be a porn star. So I'm, I'm yeah. watching it. I'm really hitting, like, porn star. I'm taking my shit out, looking at me. So, you know, it was getting air in the pussy. So she was queefing a lot and stuff like that. But I don't really think, you know, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm kind of blessed myself. You know, I don't got no Amen. 
But you know, I, I know what I'm doing. I know I know how to work in that thing. I'm in there. I'm nice. I'm hitting corners up. Right, left, right, B, A, select, start. You know all that. Oh, <laughs> you like a Super Nintendo? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a controller. You sound like a controller. You sound like right? Super right. Smash Brothers, like <laughs> Mario Kart. All right. Yeah, man. Congratulations. Thanks, man. <laughs> One day, maybe. All right. All right. What uh, What about you? Do you think the dick is too small if it makes you queef a lot? Um, I don't think it's too small. I just think that she's experienced bigger. Okay. So if you've had, you know, like women, we have all different t shapes and sizes. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes when you're used to a certain size, there's a little gap in between. And I feel like men uh, contribute it too much to their dick size when it's really not your dick size. But she could have had bigger. Or it could just be the fact, that, like, you know, you're moving in a position that's creating too much space. Okay. You know? I love and a the lot maturity. of times, yeah, a lot of times they think Purity, it's like, right? uh, yeah. You know, the pussy's dry. It's not dry. It's not dry. You know, just come in a little closer, babe. You're not that, you know, as big as you think you are. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> just just coming a little closer. So a, a quick question to piggyback off that uh, for you. So if, like, as a female, like, is it the length of the dick? Or is it the stroke? Or, the or is it the girth? Oh, girth. Yeah, it's 100% the girth. I would say, what do you think, Big J? That's causing squeezing? No, no, no. In general, no. what do you prefer? You oh, prefer length, girth, or motion? Definitely That's a, motion. You're a motion person. you yeah. all about, thank God. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a girth person. I'm I a found girth my person. girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a girth person because yeah, for girth. me, and everybody's anatomy is different. Like how you're. Scoot over. <laughs> <laughs> where your spot is can be different on every woman. <laughs> so, you know, you might be stroking, but you're still not hitting. Hitting it, yeah. yeah. You're still not hitting. Like, it's a good little something. Uh -huh. It's <laughs> not, yeah. You know Up, so? left, right, B, A, select, start. That's, That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> That's how you find the spot. What he said. So I'm just trying Coach to say. Santana. Everyone's not there. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry for those of you that know you weren't there for me. Let's <laughs> 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 talk about it in another episode. <laughs> Mr. <Mister> Hawaii. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 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 All right. What did you got, Big J? What you? Uh, she, she already answered <laughs> her question. Oh, she said. But she okay. ain't. Uh, she ain't answered this, this question. This question, yeah. Yeah, about she the said. Coup. Oh, she said it's um, motion. No, that wasn't the question though. The question is, a dick too small if if you queef a lot. No, it means you're pulling out too much. Cause it's small. No, but. cause you trying to hold <laughs> out the Cause you can't hang. That part too. Oh, okay. Cause you you Shout gotta. Shout out to that. Like real talk, and all of y'all guys that think it's okay to like. Once you know you're about to net, slide out and be trying to eat pussy, stop it. <laughs> it's annoying. Oh, so y'all know the game too. It's annoying. <laughs> Damn it. It's, it's annoying. <laughs> Motherfucker be oh, pulled no. out and ate your pussy five times in one oh, yeah, it's, been, yeah. it's been 10 minutes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no much pussy eating in the world. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Just go ahead and bust a net. <laughs> Pinch a dickhead. Let it be good yeah. while you do it. Just let it be good. <laughs> She know what she's talking about. I don't, I mean, I don't I'm just like saying. her. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, fuck, fuck her. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so we feeling good. Everybody feeling good. Mm -hmm. What uh, Kyle? Thank you guys for uh, letting me sit in, man. I have to go sweep the parking lot. Um, this is dope, man. Continue to grow with this. Um, appreciate you. I appreciate you having it here at Sky Bistro. You guys come out. We're open Tuesday through Sunday, each and every week. Thank you. all Great place. Yay. Great, great facility. I somehow end up in at least twice a week, it seems like. So uh, who want to go first? I'll go. It <laughs> says, um, during sex, lights on or lights off and why? Mm. I'm 100% for lights the fuck on. Yes. I'm 100% I'm for lights on. Not hard for me to disagree. 100% <laughs> lights off. I don't want to see you. <laughs> the yeah, more I'm I see of you, the more, the more I'll be ready to fuck. He sounds like he has some bad experiences. Yes, he has. Like, who has fucked my boy? And y'all did not I'm do a healing. job. Like, Man. he's been hurt. He's hurt, I'm, babe. Oh, I'm, I'm traumatized. <laughs> you should have been my, hurt, babe. I got my whole life is trauma. Oh, fuck. We but lights so, on. Dropping the hookah. I'm definitely going to say lights on. Lights on? Not even at least dimmed a little bit? Like. No, I like the lights on because oh, I'm wanna. a visual person. Like, well, I want to see you in every single way, and I want you to see me in every single way because I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my pussy, the way my body looks, the way I do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Squirt, come, do what I do. I want you to see it all. Oh. I'll need you to feel it and just be imagining, no, look down at me. See what's up. Thank God we got the ring light and uh, <laughs> the extra lights here, right? Like, see what's up. Yeah, yeah. 
so That's don't how play I feel with about me. It. We'll turn these cameras <laughs> off right now. But nah. Oh. So, <laughs> so we got light. You got lights on. Lights on. I prefer lights off. I want a, a little dark, intimate, like the sensual feeling. I Maybe mean, we light can transition the lights off. Okay. We got to start with the lights. I like on. to. I like to light a little candle for it. Set the mood. Shout out to Bath and Body Works again. Love your little candles. Some of y'all, y'all got some nasty ass fragrances in there too. I just went <laughs> co- up right after Christmas. Oh my God. But most of the part, light a candle, set the mood. I like it dark. But I like everything dark, so I don't even like lights in general. So. <laughs> hmm. oh, I, I definitely keep the TV on. Yeah. I feel like once. Yeah, yeah. Have some Netflix like in the background. Some. Yeah. Mm-mm. When you cut the lights off, I'll be like, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. You like to sing during sex, ain't it? Is, is this your little fetish? It really is, though. Like, I, would, I might do that for real. To make rhymes during sex? <laughs> <laughs> you just become a, like, you became Cardi in, during sex. I right. might be. Okay. All right. So what what you got for us? 100%. All right. What's your question, question, Big Choss? Have you ever trapped your partner during sex? Does this mean like when you're about to nut, like trapping you? Oh, yeah. definitely. Oh my god. Definitely. <laughs> but not for not for the reasons you would think. Not for a baby. Just in the moment, you know. It's just be yeah. like, I don't know. It's a very intimate thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I can't even ask the question. The fo- the <laughs> don't fo- worry, we going to CVS after. Yeah. Shout well, out to CVS. That was my question. How many Plan B's <laughs> and abortions are we at? Like, like how often is this happening? Like, oh, so you you're a trapper. Definitely I've already told my trapping story, so yes, this happened. I've I've been trapped. It's not it's not a good feeling. We know you trapped because you have a child. She's a trap queen <laughs> when they hit the bend on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, definitely I'm a trapper. Only because like, how dare you? Like, no, where you running to, baby? Don't play with it. Where you running? I just feel like pull out is giving cum rag. Like it doesn't make me feel like a wife. Yeah, it's giving like you think I'm I like a, be a icky. Twinkie, not a toaster strip. Right, like you think I'm an icky or some shit. Like, right. what you mean? You got yeah, get your baby out of me. Stop playing with me. <laughs> you know you want me to have your baby. You know you want me to have your baby. We will have not, a fist fight in here I'm before I'm not having I'm none your you. baby, but that's what you want. I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold stun this bitch before I come yeah. to you. <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hit the right bottom on you. Because, I ain't, I ain't, like. because why are you even having sex with somebody raw? Right. Because you know, keep in mind you can get pregnant through pre I'm not giving a sex ed class, but we know this. So I'm just saying. Like. You are the you're the most like mature person and immature <laughs> person at the same time ever on this. Like I don't. I like, there's like a level of maturity that you bring, and I'm then there's here. a level of maturity immaturity that you bring too. It's like I incredible. got you. I'm gonna mix it up. <laughs> yeah. So, I got you. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. So, uh, so y'all are both trap stars. Definitely. So. I'm more of a trap star. Yeah. Trapper of the year. Yeah. So, yeah. if you see these beautiful women and you want to have sex with them, be prepared. Watch out. Wear a condom. I don't like or condoms. Don't. So I just want to say oh shout out to God. Scott. Y'all, I'm y'all not an easy keep- fuck. <laughs> Stop if fucking playing. A mind shopper busting this bitch, but uh, it's yeah. hard to fuck me though. So it's hard to fuck. Shout you. out to those that do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they're all. Yeah, they're all. Ain't no all. Uh, he. He. One. Yes. It. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm <my>. just kidding. <laughs> you've, already, you've already admitted it's not more than one. Oh, you like <laughs> so, so don't even play with me. Oh all my right, God. so um. So we feeling good. We had a good episode. Yeah, this was dope. This Anything was dope. we want to add to it? Anything? Shout out to Kyle. Thank oh. you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to Tuba for this outfit. Y'all really held it down. Thank you. Shout out to Tuba. Beautiful, beautiful fit. Yes. Fits her curves. Fits her body right. Yes. Thank you. Very curvilicious. Is that the right <laughs> word? You did it. I did it. Very who's, curvilicious. Who's playing right now? Slow down. Who is I it? I just want to get to know you. Who is it? Don't turn around because that pretty brown thing Who is it looks though? good What's to me. Artist? Bobby Valentino. Okay, thank you. Yeah. He got it back, y'all. He yeah, got it back. Yeah, I got it. At the I got, end of the episode, he yeah, got it back. Yeah, Bobby Valentino. I couldn't let my the boy go. The crazy part, <laughs> I went, I'll tell you a little side story. So, the white part of me enjoys going golfing, right? So, I went golfing, uh, I went golfing the other day, Friday. Mm-hmm. And so, I don't know what the fuck brought it up. So, I was with my best friend and then like one of my other other friends or whatever. And randomly, I just said, slow down. Don't t-. Like, because he was, I don't know, he was he was swinging too fast. He's like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, Bobby Valentino, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just, like, I, I literally, a yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I just, I just sang this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Did you say no homo? Nah. Oh, okay. I, I sang the whole song. Chorus, <laughs> <laughs> chorus ad-libs, everything. 
<laughs> but nah, nah, nah. But nah. So uh, nah. So now is my shit. I fuck with so now. I can't believe I fucked Monica up too. But that's alright. It's okay. She forgives you. I'm sure. I hope so. <laughs> I would fuck her. She'd be in the fuck or marry category. She's sure. a writer. She's the one that's not gonna snitch. You know she's holding down C murder right now. Shout out to him. He's been in jail for seventy five years. So yeah. good for him. Yeah. Um. All right. So uh, so that's out. You got anybody else you want to shout out? That's it. Any that's fake sponsors we want to shout out? Sh- Sky Angels. Of course I we're gonna. I want to sponsor Don Julio. Don Julio. Y'all really been looking out. I feel ah. like <laughs> you had not been looking out. She <laughs> almost died New Year's Eve because Did. of because of Don Julio. Right here. Alcohol poisoning, throwing up all over Sky. But I made it. Trying to fight people, trying to shoot people in the parking lot. So shout out to Don Julio. Great shout brand out. of liquor that causes her to go crazy. So shout out to Don Julio. Shout out to Golden Corral. What's your favorite buffet? That's what we didn't get into. What's your mm. favorite favorite buffet? I don't know. I'm kind of a flaming grill type of bitch. A flaming grill? I don't know. Girl, you got a favorite buffet? Jasmine buffet, Ryan's. Yeah, Golden no, Girl. I definitely don't eat buffets. <laughs> Thank you, I agree with you 100. percent Buffets no are fucking me. disgusting as it's shit. But but, no but we had this discussion before the podcast. What our what our favorite buffet was? But if I had to pick, like I don't eat them, but if I had to pick, I'm definitely going with Golden Corral. Golden Corral. Because I mean, you know, everybody goes there. The food is apparently great. I don't fuck with it though. Platinum Plus, nah. That Plat- like some Plat- shit Platinum Plus like did not have the buffet, but I'll tell you who did have the buffet, and that was Uptown Cabaret, <laughs> great strip club in Charlotte that has wonderful, mm. shri- wonderful grits and eggs and bacon at about three thirty in the morning. That shit is absolutely delicious. <laughs> Anything's good at three thirty in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you got an ass in your face and you're just trying to fucking right. eat some eggs and shit, like these are these are the best eggs I've ever eaten. Yes. <laughs> and look at her asshole. So, um, shout out to dollars. Eight hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, I I would have blown in that shit. Yeah, that shit did cost me about eight hundred. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say. You know me, what? We we'll have to talk offline because yeah. Costum's in here. I need a tip. Yeah, eight hundred dollars. No, got, I'm just kidding. You got a nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel <laughs> like you got a pretty nice tip on my birthday. I might I'm have been drunk, but I feel like yeah. You nice, know, he definitely nice. tipped me a couple hundred. Y'all. So so yeah. Let so, him show up um, to your shit. Watch your fucking mouth. I'm gonna tip these bitches ten dollars. But uh, uh, but nah, me Travis and my boy Travis went to Uptown Cabaret and spent. Spent way, way too much money because they told me they were. Yeah, I spent money. Nobody else did. I spent way too much in the strip club. But that's another story for another podcast. Make sure you tune in to a later motherfucking episode. Shout out to Golden Corral, the uh, food for poor people. If you don't have any fucking money and you want to be a fat ass who never fucking does anything successful in life, go to Golden Corral. They have a fucking chocolate fountain. You know how disgusting that fucking is to be in a chocolate fountain? You got kids putting your fucking fingers in there. Your fucking grandma's, like, putting her tongue in there. Like, she used to fucking suck on her your grandfather's dick. Now that same tongue is in the fucking chocolate fountain, and you're eating that shit every fucking day. Golden Corral, the number one buffet in South Carolina. All right, that's it for this week's edition of <laughs> KB's Bar Talk. Thank you to the beautiful Josh, Big Josh, Jocelyn, and the beautiful Nasty, Nasty, Nasty Nas. Uh, We'll see y'all next week on KB's Wire Talk. Don't drink and drive unless you want to. Bye. Peace out.